Need to go in town. I need to enter in town, I think. Here you go, finally, man. Okay. Greetings. My <sighs> wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. Finally. Thank you, man. Okay. What's your benefactor if want? If benefactor wish to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. Fine, then. My benefactor awaits nearby. Do not tarry. I'll go now. Uh, by the way, guys, how I see the character is uh, level uh, 20. I'm level 22 now. But uh, what I did, I did only I got two companions, three companions. Uh, and I started the the main the, the mage guild quest. What I will do on this playthrough, let's let's say in Elder Scroll Online, uh, I will do only the most important thing: the main quest, the faction quest, the mage guild fighter guild quest. Uh, maybe the main area quest after that. I, I will focus to play the game like a single player game. Don't skip the dialogues. I'm not rushing. I, I don't have why to rush. What the fuck? Okay, I don't remember that. Oh. What the fuck? I'm in oblivion now. Whoa there. Are you all right? Uh, I am. The name's Lyris. Still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's what I did, uh, Wolf. It's what I did. Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. I'm a big Skyrim fan. Uh, I love Skyrim. I have thousand of hours in Skyrim modded version vanilla etc etc so I will play ESO like uh, Skyrim you know you know what I mean <laughs> Ready and stay sharp. I think I made honestly a bad choice with the necromancer. I hear the necromancer is not that good. Keep moving. 
There are more Daedra on the way. Let's keep moving. But now I will deal with what I did. I will stay with my necromancer, you know? I will do my best. Let's go. What are they doing, guys? Keep moving. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Every class is... Oh... Of course I will do... Some dungeons. I love dungeons. I, I love to do dungeons. Don't understand me wrong about the multiplayer aspect of the game. I like to do dungeons. I'm a... Veteran World of Warcraft player. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. Wait a second. I so like I said, I will do some dungeons, quests. Uh, uh, I don't know. Multiplayer missions from time to time. Hey, how to free these guys? The Prophet. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you even for a moment. You must think you can help me. A necromancer? A meta tank? Are you kidding me? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. <clears throat> that blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Yeah, when I will uh, hit max level, level 50, uh, I will check for uh, some builds online, you know. But uh, at the moment, until max level, I will... Uh, I'll do my best to manage myself. I, I don't like to follow uh, to follow step by step to build uh, characters in games because I, I want I like to discover myself what the game have to offer, what every class have to offer, etc. etc. You know what I mean. Uh, I, I don't feel I play the game if I following someone build step by step. Okay, level three. Spend a point here. Level four, do that. Level five, do that. I don't. I, it's it's you, you know. You don't feel the freedom. I play the I play the games for fun. It's not a job for me. <laughs> At one point, of course, if I will get stuck, and or uh, when I feel it's not good enough, like I say, at max level. Uh, yes, I agree. I will check someone else build and I will change what I need to change. Okay, where uh, do we go from here? These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. What are these Sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molo. Yeah, and like you said, on this way you learn, basically you learn the class. You learn every ability, you try every ability. That will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. I'm sure you do. Yes, uh, I started I can. three days, three days, four days ago. I, I claimed three or four uh, rewards, and I think yes, I have uh, that house, but I didn't check yet. Like I said, I want to. Ex I did only what I did on this character. I unlock. Uh, I checked online how to unlock uh, the companions. I unlocked three companions, Bastian. Isabel and the uh, other one, Azarel or Azarad, or I don't know the name. I unlocked three companions. And uh, I completed the first 
mage guild quest only that in rest i didn't i i i, I don't do did anything else and i do i did uh, three uh, daily dungeons for uh, experience with random people you know who is this prophet he's a strange one no doubt about it but he's the wisest man i've ever met i think i have is one more house when i play the game at the release because I have two more characters. I have uh, one uh, I saw on my account. I have one character level 46 or something. And one uh, 39 or 36, something like that. But I played very long time ago when uh, the game was released. What is this place where I am? You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. If I'm dead, who killed me? A man named Manny Marco. Manny Marco, I remember Manny Marco, man. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. Are you dead too? No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. Uh, how can we rescue the, the it Prophet? It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there. And we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Okay. We'll keep moving. Let's keep moving. Hey! Easy peasy, mine more. The brutality knows of your escape. Hurry. Easy peasy, mine more. Is this thing? Olivian, take you. Come get some more, you skeeving hawkers. Oh, this is a public dungeon? Self 
punishment. It's a public area, man. Oh, let me wait. Oh, already know that. Okay. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's cell. We have one more to destroy. Hey, Patu, hello. Never get in this way. Then, uh, which way? Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Ooh. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Man, I remember Cadwell. It's that guy with a strange helmet with, with a pan, huh? Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. Wolf, I'm He's right. That's Cadwell. Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. The old man. That old funny guy. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home, and he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Hello, old man. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. You must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed. Sir Cadwell, okay, please. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? We're trying to get inside the prophet's cell. The door is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Uh, how do we get through all of that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Thank you very much, my friend. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Uh, tell me about yourself, bro. Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. How long have you been here? Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go fear all, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. 
How do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as sheer Gorus and Jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. I wonder why they didn't meet Cadwell or Lyris as a companion. What do you know about the Prophet? An imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. Uh, you don't think there's a way to get home? I hadn't actually given him much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Okay, my friend. Goodbye. Seems to think this undercraft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death. Yeah, ladies, we'll go. Uh, let's check this old man loot. Oh my god, I have a mode here to ban these boats. Fuck these boats. I don't need boats. I don't need many viewers. I'm happy with my few. Hey, it's my bread. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, we need to f follow the river, right? Down. Down the river, huh? Okay. Man, why cannot free these guys? The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. Killeris, follow me. Yeah, another guy in front of me clearing the path. Hey buddy. Leave, leave, leave some loot for me. Oh my gosh. There is a chest behind this guy. It's empty. Oh, what's a trap? should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right. Good 
news is we made it here in one piece and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Oh, She sacrificed. There's no other way. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Okay, ladies, I'll do my best. Fight? Good. This feeling. It will be fitting though if Molog Bal has his way. Thank the divines you are safe. There is that at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Can we find a way to take her with us? I wish that were possible, but I promise you once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Vestige? That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. I'm not a vestige. I'm a dragonborn. Uh, why did he call you the prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. Anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. All right, stay, clo stay close to me. Up the stairs quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Bye, ladies. For now. There it is. The dark anchor mooring. It can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. The day will be ours. Come, I will protect you. <laughs> Do you protect me? Are you fucking kidding me? I will protect you. A moment, best. <laughs> Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a sky shard. A sky shard? Wow! <laughs> a shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal uh okay where, where is the sky shark shard of aetherius fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing there quickly collect the sky shard ah! 
Thank you. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, I require your strength. What's happened if you jump here? Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! And now I'm back to Tamri, alright? Awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. I'm looking for the books for the Mage Girl. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. How long I was uh, unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only... Uh, by the way, guys, the story in, the in uh, Elder Scroll Online happened before... You out and brought you to dry land. All before the Skyrim and even before the Oblivion. What uh, should I do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. When uh, I, I will see you again? I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. One skill point, that's great. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Moloch Ball looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Where shall I go? You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Indeed, I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you... Uh... Wait a second, I'm checking the... So the Harborage is the next one, right? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many should rise Basically up this is a, a tutorial. Claim the reward. I don't know. Oh, I think I use a lot of boneyard. I don't know if this skeletal mage will be good. I don't know.
1100 damage is very low, it's almost nothing. I'm using this uh, bony art a lot. Polar of bones, increase maximum health. No, I want magicka recovery. Thank you. Je jota. Je jota. Captain Rana, who are you? I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone oh, did I get here? A fisherman found you washed up on the beach. He brought you back to town. It's a miracle you survived. So what now? You're the one Holzgar pulled out of the water. I'm glad you're up. I could use your help. <laughs> I started the main quest here in this area. You want to speak with me? You've seen combat, and I need all the help I can get today. Villagers are scattered across the island. We need to warn. We sighted a ship. I don't want to do that. People of Bleak Rock all across the island. Dark. It's an old dragon shrine. Thank you, friend. I'll answer. I don't want to do that. To this backwater here. I took her to I'm not a scholar. I won't speak. I'm skipping that because I, I will try. I will start like again that. I want to do the next uh, main quest. How to start the next uh, main quest? Oh, this is a house, I think. Wolf, if you are still here. This is a house that I... I clean. I got it. Greetings, my good friend. Wabacat, a bonus reward. Why not? Simply breathtaking. Since you are out of crates, you will need to purchase more to continue, my friend. May luck follow you. Uh, how to start now the next quest?
Where the hell I am? Where I am now? Blackrock Village. Blackrock Isle. Man, this is the original tutorial area, right? I'm right here. Uh, I need to discover a shrine here. No, so the next quest... Is the the daughter of giants or the harborage? I did the harborage. This, this this area it's a part of uh, basically it's a part of the main quest I'm asking you because I, I want to upload on YouTube for anyone else but especially for me the whole playthrough of the main quest yeah, yeah I, I know that I know that in the journal, I know, but I don't have the quest here. I don't have the next main quest. I don't have the next main quest here. No, I don't want to do the, the faction quest now. This one, a beginning at Blackrock. Basically, right? I don't want to do that. When I will do that, I will focus to that. Let's go to the shrine. Let's go back to Davon's watch, huh? Let's see. You think? You think that will unlock the next one?
Mola. So this, this is a the sign, you know, it's different for the main quest. This is a side mission. It's not this one. Go to find the Arsh. Let's do that, you know. Let's ride. The Dark Elf? Which ah this Darge? Uh, oh, the dark girl that was in the house. Okay, do you do you think I remember the fucking house, man? That guy just started the the faction quest. What do you want? Do you think I remember? I remember which quest was. Anyway, let me let me sell something. Times like these, it pays to know. Oh. Behind me now? Okay, I'll check just a second. Uh, you, you... What to do with these motives, by the way, Wolf? You cannot sell these things. And I suppose if you collect a lot of them, uh, it will fill my, my bank storage. Oh, you used to add to your law library? Wait a second, I'll check after that. Right click on learn, okay wait. And uh, the one that we already have it? It's a big problem with the, the storage. Even with uh, ESO Plus, I still have problem with uh, the inventory. You see, require rank 9 of any of the metalworking, tailoring or woodworking. Yes, I know I can upgrade with gold, but uh, it's, it's expensive even with gold. I have 93 slots now and to upgrade with 10 more slots is, I don't know, 12 key or something like that. And uh, for the moment, Looks like the gold is not that easy to make now. Man, where is that item? I cannot redeem that uh, motive. By the way. Require rank 9 in, in a profession. Doesn't matter.
I hate to do dailies in games, honestly. I hate... Grinding, man. I hate repetition. I started to play uh, ESO because I have a huge amount of content. And that's what I want. I don't like... I don't like to do... The same things a lot of times. Okay, I understand grinding in games. I understand grinding. grinding. But don't ask me to, to do the same things over and over again because uh, I don't have that patience anymore. You know, maybe I'm not very young anymore. I'm not a kid anymore. And I don't have that patience anymore. Even in a single player, I play a lot of single player RPG. That's my main kind of games. If the game is too repetitive, uh, I get bored and I, I, I give up. I stop playing that game. And uh, honestly, ESO looks have a lot of content and I like that. Uh, man, you see this house? One minute and auto complete when you click on things with add on. Oh, yeah, that. That's uh, not bad. Maybe if I will, uh, if I will play for a longer time. I will, I will do that. Good to see you up and around. And here I wake up. This is the place. Sky Shroud Barrows is northeast. Of I'll answer what I can. Captain tilroni has got the villagers thinking no, of Adel Netch, but I'm actually a bit smarter than that. Uh, Mr. God, it's a, it's an add-on with a nameplate, I think. Oh, no, 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 it's not an add-on, it's on settings. It's on settings to make the name, uh, the name to appear over the head. Man, how the hell to start the... Already got it now. No, where? It's not here. I don't have it. I have all these quests from uh, zones, from faction, that I didn't start it. I just take the quest and I didn't start the quest. Because when I start one, I want to complete that one. That's why I want to continue now the main quest. Maybe we need to, to do that at the beginning or at Blake Rock. Yeah, Mr. God, it's somewhere here. It's on uh, settings. Uh, and you have here nameplates, you see? And in nameplates here, it shows what nameplates to appear. You have a lot, a lot, even the health bars. The buff and everything. 
you can uh, set up here on the nameplate. Wolf, how the heck I will continue the fucking main quest? What the... Go back to Devon Watch. What the fuck was that? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I just... I, man, I was there. I just come back from Devon Watch. Auto unlock when you return there? I don't think. Maybe didn't step into town? I teleported in the town. Uh, let's go out, outside. Okay. No, I... S there you are. Do not panic. Only you can... <laughs> You are not right, Wolf. You don't know anything. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm joking. You are right. Yeah, you are right. <clears throat> Okay, the prophet is here. And now we start the harborage. Okay. There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Hello, my friend. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. Where is this safe harbor? I awoke to choking ash in the air and the sounds of strife. I am in Morrowind, home of the Dark Elves in a city called Davin's Watch. The harborage is a ruin in the cliffs west of the city. I'll find you there. On the way, I will collect some materials. This is a great because, area for harvesting. Yes, it is, Bastian. I know, because uh, I want on the same times to level up the profession. How much I can? Uh, uh, the prologue quest from the Crown Store. What do you mean exactly? I have uh, ESO Plus and I have all the DLCs. Are you fucking kidding me? I fail. I fail. 
I fucking fail. Nice haul. Uh, what do you mean, man? Until next time. What section? The the prologue quest from the crown store. Quest starter, the days. Oh, this one. Oh, already I have it. This is a prologue for new uh, for the new DLC Wolf. This one infinite archive. This one is, huh? Have a prologue tab. Where you see the prologue tab? Starters has two tabs, general and prologue. I think it's it's too late now for me to do the prologue. Bastian, what's with this face? Prologue is brimming with quests. Two items. Something interesting. Guys. I'm searching for loot. The people from my community know me. I'm a loot addicted. I'm a... Old RPG players that... Uh, I like to explore and to loot everything. It's all the DLC starting with. Ah, it's possible. But I suppose I don't have that because I have ESO Plus. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson? Of a sort. 
I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Good enter boy. My mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I this is what I like in games, man, and even if it's an online game, especially in Elder Scroll. I watched to yeah, some streamers that playing ESO, I don't understand anything. They are doing only PvP and they are doing only uh, dungeons or playing with other people and playing very fast, you don't understand anything. As a new players, you don't understand anything. Nothing. Zero. It's chaos. Okay. I agree. They are very high level. They know everything. But for me, it's chaos. They don't talk with NPC. They skip everything. Even I did few dungeons with few players. Man. What's impossible for me to loot anything in that dungeon? I didn't understand anything from that dungeon because the guys ride, run directly to the end boss with all the mobs running towards them. What? What's a shit? I love to do dungeons. I was a hardcore World of Warcraft players and I did every single dungeon, every single raid with my guild, with, I completed almost everything, but I don't like like that. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, <clears throat> the actions of the Especially world when I have a new player with me. I remember even in WoW or in author MMORPG where a new guy coming in the guild, in the group, I, I, always I will try to, to, to take it slowly, to explain him, to show him, to teach him, to learn, not, oh, I'm, I'm the best man, I'm, I'm a veteran, I know everything, catch me if you can. Not like that. Uh, what that have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the five companions. Who are the five companions? The five companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What's that? What mean Dragonborn? <laughs> the Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness with the blood of the To me that's a paradox. Veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Who was his leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of a Calobian duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the roof. Yeah, exactly, Mr. God. I play the game to relax myself. I want to enjoy. Like I said to Wolf before, and I'm, I'm not paid. I, it's not a job. It's it's a relaxing time. Yeah, and I think everyone need to judge like that. You play a game to relax. Of course, maybe the big streamers they they make money from that. They they don't pay. They don't. They don't play anymore for enjoyment. 
they play big for the community, they play to make money maybe for that. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witness their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farm a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Saha, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the true Manamarco, <laughs> the king of worms. Many Marka, motherfucker. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Uh, how could the amulet of king turn Varen into one of the dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. Why did Varen want to, to be the dragonborn? In addition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Tell me about each the of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? Lyris? You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Varen chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. See, Sahan? Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Baron's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. Uh, Abnurtar? The Therns are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council, a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his council, Varen was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. What about Manimarko? Manimarko the traitor. The great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Uh, what happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Any loot here? No. But I can see it. <laughs> it will work, my lead. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. 
By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! Motherfucker. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools. The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, the moon just right. is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akitosh! Forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! And from what I remember, even when I played the game first time at the release, the... It's too late to look up. The story, the main story is not that bad in Elder Scroll Online. I think it's a above average storyline, honestly. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion. I think it's even better than in Skyrim. Stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the plane melt. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nan. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. What happened next? Manamako tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nan was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nan from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varan was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menamako and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. I know. Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council. And his daughter Clibio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. How did you end up in uh, Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They show you as a threat. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion, but the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Excited for Elder Scroll 6, guys? Dark the Not soon, of course. Not anymore. Why not anymore? With that not anymore answer, too much time has passed. <laughs> uh, I saved a few years ago. I hope I don't die until the release. <laughs> you know, a sarcasm. will be enslaved for all eternity. It's not that much. 11 years. Is that much? And wait, I think we'll be minimum. Minimum 3 4 years until the release. Minimum from now. So, in total, will be minimum 15 years between uh, Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls 6. Which is. 
exactly too much but who know at this point yeah who know if we'll be still alive <laughs> exactly but but agree and be honest when 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 we'll be released you will be excited anyway so i'm sure about that if you are a fan of elder scrolls 100 percent you will be and most of us uh, will buy the game doesn't matter how much we hate Bethesda doesn't matter how much we uh, hate Toddy Todd Howard doesn't matter anything we will buy the game anyway and we will play play the game anyway now we will see if we, we will enjoy we will not enjoy that a different story but uh, we will try the game 100 percent So it falls to us I'm not a Bethesda fan myself, so dark thinkers or our <laughs> no. <laughs> do. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Because I was very, very disappointed with a uh, few of the last Bethesda games, especially Fallout 76 was my first disappointment but honestly now the game is much more better at the release i tried the game now recently i uploaded on youtube already a few videos and uh, the other one it's starfield man man starfield it's it's i think starfield it's a bigger fail than follow 76. as you say some other great, great, greatly built universes. Example, which one? Which one are you talking about? Please don't tell me Starfield. Please. I played Starfield myself. I have 80 hours, I think. But honestly, I don't know how many games in my life I played repetitive my tutors like to tell me repetitive like like starfield if you put them together and so it begins the remainder of the story has yet to be written it is your story now warframe and uh, genshin impact warframe i never ever played warframe genshin impact i played a little bit uh, when the game was released Of course I was hyped about Starfield a lot. And there is so much to do. But know this, you will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Uh, what should I do to... Minamato's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. I'll do what Forgive I can. <laughs> Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll. A skill point. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Mister. And more magicka. That's amazing. Oh wait, I think I have something for Bastian. What's on your mind? Cordial. Uh, wait, I have uh, this gauntlet. It's better than than what he had. 
reduce damage take by 1.2 percent oh my god yeah better than nothing you know even 1.2 Man, this is a... These are costume for... Uh, companion? Ah, okay. Now, man, he he's a tank. I think the dragon priest looks cool. Why you don't unlock them? They are very useful. If you don't know how, I uploaded the quest line for Bastian on YouTube, on my YouTube channel already. And I have uh, two more videos, I will almost upload tomorrow, I think, for the next two companions. And the mount? Yeah, this armor is cool. Okay, the problem now is how to start the next main story quest line quest. They come from a quest. Yeah, you need to go to a specific location and to do one quest. Then at the end, you'll get as a reward the companion. Uh, okay, maybe if I go back in town, I will... Uh, wait. I have a better ring. Uh, Magica stamina. We replace this one with this one. This uh, this mount I have it for. A very long time when I played the game first time years ago. I didn't show to anyone else in the game this mount anymore. I don't know. I don't remember how I get this one. Maybe I bought it or I don't know how. I have no idea. It's the only one that I have. <laughs> only this one. I'm not a big fan of cosmetic things in uh, in games. Uh, let's go back in town to see how we'll uh, unlock the next uh, main quest. Me too, this one and the default horse. I don't know how, I, I don't remember how I get this one. From an event, uh, from store, have no idea. I'm not a rich guy, I don't pay for cosmetic in-game, never ever. I paid one mount for uh, the ESO Plus, because now I'm testing the game to see if I will play more, if I don't play more, and I say, okay, I will pay one mount to see how the game has to offer in 2024.
I have no like I have no idea man. But like I said, I didn't saw anyone else with this uh, ED mount in the game. I don't know if it's rare, I don't know if it's... Come on, have no idea. Uh, maybe I need to travel from another place, then to come back. Oh! Seek me by the cliffs outside Devon's watch. Hurry. And now I, I come here now now I have a quest to go back to the harborage. I are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Erdemonius, my man, how are you bro? Welcome. 